Cusco, Peru is the oldest living city in the Americas with it being continuously inhabited for over 3,000 years according to mainstream sources. It was the historic capital of the Inca Empire from the 13th to 16th century until the Spanish conquest in 1529, but Cusco and the Inca people have a history you won't hear from mainstream archaeological sources. This history is how the Inca inherited the megalithic structures left from the fallen angels, their offspring the giants, and whatever group of people were living with them at the time. The Inca people, through passed down oral tradition, even admit that these ancient megalithic structures seen within and around Cusco are not the doings of the Inca people, but was actually inherited by them when they came into the region. The possibility that ancient native people built these structures with their massive size and laser precision is impossible. I look to the supernatural explanation of Genesis 6-4 for understanding. The Bible verse that describes fallen angels and their offspring the giants alive and living among people during Earth's earliest days. Here are some of those supernatural examples. This wall within the city of Cusco is called the Rocca Wall. We see the megalithic stones that look like they were molded into place that even a human hair couldn't fit in between. We then see the Inca building techniques. You can see it's almost like they tried to copy the previous megalithic techniques with some of the perfect placement stones but it's nothing like the previous precision of the megalithic structures. We then see the Spanish colonial building techniques that have a lot of mortar and look really sloppy. Again, mainstream archaeology claims this to be the work of the Inca, but the Inca people even say themselves they didn't build these megalithic structures but inherited them. In this picture from the 1930s, you can see the megalithic wall with then an additional building around it in the classic Inca style, indicating that they found the structures when they moved into the region and then built off and around it. After all, why would they move from the incredibly safe and strong megalithic building style to the technique of just stacking stones? This picture shows the clear difference between fallen angel understanding, techniques, or technology, and the building of ancient people living during that period. Just north of Cusco is a site called Olante Tambo. This site has what, interestingly enough, looks like a staircase for giants. We also see many structures there that were clearly built by Incan people. But at the top of the giant staircase, we see what's called the Temple of the Sun, which is a megalithic structure comprised of six 50-ton stones. These stones are made of red porphyry that is too hard of a stone to be crafted with the tools that the Inca had at the time, just like all the other previous locations with megalithic stones. The quarry for these stones is also known to be four miles away. Even today, crafting and moving these massive stones would be an incredible feat. It's impossible to imagine such an act being done with just ropes and people. Sacsayhuaman on the northern outskirts of Cusco is one of the most impressive megalithic sites on Earth. The massive size of the stones here, with their precise placements and laser precision, is another example of impossible building techniques for ancient people. These stones, once again, look as if they were molded into place. The ancient people alive back then weren't filing these massive stones. They once again didn't even have the types of tools needed to do such a thing, and the stones don't have any signs of tool markings on them. The largest stone blocks at Sacsayhuaman are over 28 feet high and weigh around 120 tons. One of the stones on the outer wall is so precise that it has 12 precise cuts to fit in perfectly to match with 12 other stones. Kinko is a site near Cusco. This site is pretty incredible because it looks like the shape was just pulled right out of the natural stone with laser precision. Perfect angles, no deviation. The Inca at the time had bronze tools, way too soft to even work on this type of stone. They had not learned to work with iron yet. Similar to the other sites in and around Cusco, there are no tool markings on any of the stone cutouts. These incredible megaliths point to the supernatural. It makes no sense that all around the world, the very first stone structures that have been built Built, were built in a way that's impossible to duplicate 3,000 years later. How is it that the oldest megalithic sites on Earth have the largest stones ever used in building? You would expect many ancient failed attempts and evidence of this all around, but that's not what we see. What we see is somehow the first massive building projects were done with laser precision and massive stones. Around the same time period, all throughout the Earth is the report of giants. Massive mighty men with six fingers and six toes living amongst the ancient people on almost every continent in almost every culture. Knowing the Bible to be true, because I've seen the fruit of following it within my own life and within the life of others who do, as well as clearly seeing God within his pages as you read it in your day-to-day -day life, the only explanation for me is to believe what it says about the ancient times, which clearly tells us that the fallen angels were on the earth during Earth's earliest history, and that they mated with women and produced an offspring of giants. The full picture is clear. 
This is the only explanation as to how these ancient sites of Cusco, Peru were built. This region absolutely had fallen angels and giants within it within Earth's earliest history. Not far from Cusco, Peru is Tiwanaku, which has incredible megaliths as well. Peru also holds the Nazca Lines, which are images that are only seen clearly from the sky, tying these entities to their ability to be in the air, which for me is one of many, many reasons to tie them to the current UFO and UAP phenomenon. These entities' ability to be in the air may also explain how they were able to move such massive stones long distances or even how they were able to move them at all. The full picture starts to be seen when we look at the biblical text referring to Earth's earliest days, coupled with the fact that at the same time different cultures worldwide reported giants and have megalithic structures built. This is between groups of people who had no contact with each other. The point of contact that was made between these different groups of people were the fallen angels who were mingling with men. That's how we see this worldwide connection. And Cusco, Peru absolutely was a hotbed of activity for fallen angels and their offspring. Hopefully even more revelations and discoveries will come out that will point to this biblical truth and will help lead people to Christ through the understanding of these ancient mysteries. Thanks for watching and God bless.